Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking for some help on creating a key store file so that you can sign and upload your mobile application to Google Play, stay tuned. I'm going to be walking through an easy and quick option to do this in this video. Now, before we get started, one thing that you're going to need to do before we jump into this process is like and subscribe so that we can keep going. That is going to be a very crucial element to this video. Now, before we jump in, I'm going to walk through a couple of things that you're going to need. First is this Key Store Explorer program here, and this can be accessed at this website here. Now, this is not my program, so I always try to add disclaimers when we're working with third-party applications. Make sure you do your due diligence as it is entirely up to you if you download this. Uh, I'm not responsible for anything that comes from the download. It does appear to be safe, but <clears throat> again, download at your own risk. Then I'm going to be using this article here from headjack.io. I'll put the link in the description. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, but I do think that it's a great article or a great resource to use. So we're going to be following along in this article once you've downloaded this program here. So you'll see we can skip through steps one through four because, or one through three, because we've already downloaded the program. So you'll start by clicking create a key store. And if you've resized it, sometimes you have to move your mouse a bit to find out where that button is. Now for this step, you're choosing the type that you need. So we're going to choose JKS because that's default, but again, choose the option that works best for you. And also adjust the settings as you're going through this process to meet the needs for your application. Now, when you go to generate key pair, so that's gonna be essentially this button here with what looks like two keys. So we'll click this and you'll see in the algorithm section, they recommend keeping RSA 2048. Again, change that to meet your needs. Then they mention version three, uh, the SHA 256, and then you need to change the validity period. I wanna note here, if you don't click this apply button, if you just click out of it, this date will stay the same. So if you click apply, you'll see the date here will update. If you do not change this and you upload to Google Play, it is very possible that they will reject the application because the key store file doesn't have a certificate that lasts long enough. So this one small step can save a lot of trouble later on down the road. And then we are going to leave everything else as is. And then you'll see that there is the edit name option here. So this is a sample key store. I'm gonna delete it afterwards. I don't plan to use it, but we'll click here and you'll see example data that they have provided. So we'll just put name, company name, or we'll, we'll actually just follow what they did. So we'll put company unit, company name, and then we will put city, state, and US. We'll click OK, and then we will click OK here. And you'll see that they ask for an alias. So this is information when you're dealing with this key store file, keep all of this safe and secure. Don't share this with people. The key store file, there are other benefits to my knowledge, but one thing that this will allow you to do is to sign your application, basically saying, this is you uploading this app. If someone else gets your key store file and all the information, they can essentially create their own app and basically sign it and upload to your account. Now, there are other benefits, uh, if I'm not mistaken to this, that I don't quite understand, but again, just make sure that you're keeping this information safe and secure. So, And also, don't lose the key store file itself. You're gonna wanna keep that somewhere safe as well. So for the alias, we'll just put test and click OK. And then you'll see that we now need a key password. So I'm just gonna put test and test and click OK. And you'll see generation successful, just like it is here. So now we are going to go to the save button and you have to fill in your password again and confirm the new password and click okay. And we will save it to the desktop or wherever you want to. Just make sure that you add the dot key store at the very end of the file name. So we would put test dot key store and then you will click save. And this has actually been saved to your desktop um, so like they note here, make sure you save the keystore file and passwords in a safe place because you need them for future updates to your app. If you lose them, you can never update your app again in the Play Store. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is an option to allow the Google Play Store to manage the signing as well, but this is just if you want to use the keystore file option and do it yourself.
Now the rest of this is relevant to using headjack.io, so you can look at that if you're interested. But the file that you just saved is now on your desktop, and that is a key store file that you can use for your app. Now, if you're updating your app in AppGyver, for example, it's very easy to add this file. So you can open Build Services for your application, and then you can go under the Android option because this key store file will not work for your Apple application. But you can basically go to your build settings here, but what you want to do is go to the Configure tab. And then here is where you would upload your key store file, enter in your password, your alias, and your alias password. So then you this would be saved in AppGyver. If I'm not mistaken, they store it, but it's good to keep the copies uh, safe on your device or somewhere where it is safe as well. Then you would go through the build section or the configure, and then you would build your app, and the APK or the bundle that is generated, you could then upload to Google Play. So I hope that helped, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Again, I'll put these links in the description, and I will see you all in the next video.